Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There are millions of people across the world who are stuck in the valley of indecision and they're stuck. And because of that, they've not been able to achieve that which God's called them to do. And sometimes depression comes when there is the absence of expression. Impression without expression leads to depression. And so they're stuck. And they want to do things. They know they're called to, to be princes and, 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 and princesses and kings and, and, and to reign. But they're stuck because they're afraid to go out there and do things. But I want you to know that there's something on your DNA that reflects the nature of, of God himself. He has put his seed on your inside. So you have to think that God know and think that God's called you to be like him. Because the Bible tells me that God created man in his own image. That means you have the DNA of Christ and you can think like him. You have the mind of Christ. But sometimes when you go through life and, and all the intricacies of life and you're stuck down, you're, you're cast down and you're wandering, but it's time for you to rise up. Because I know that you can't be who God's called you to be if you don't think the way he wants you to think. He has made you in his own image and he thinks and he believes that you can do it. But every thought has a price. Everything we do starts from the mind. Success or failure starts from the mind. Defeat starts from the mind. So if you want to succeed in life, then you must have the right thoughts. You have to think the way God wants you to think. You have to think positively all the time. You have to be positive about your business. You have to be positive about your career. You have to be positive about your marriage. You have to be positive about many things. That's the only way we can rise up. There are crises. We have crises in Afghanistan. We have crises in different parts of the world because these crises were not managed by people with rational mindset. We go to war when we ought to dialogue. We split when we ought to dialogue and, 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 and think of what we can do to change history of this planet. The destinies of nations and organizations and people were fashioned and shaped by people who have positive thoughts. And you just not an accident, you were deliberately created to make a difference in the 21st century. Maybe right now you're faced with challenges and you're afraid to do many things. But I came to tell you that you can do all things. Not through your strength, not through someone's strength, through Christ who strengthens you. Take up the challenge. Take up what God's given to you. Rise up to the needs of the 21st century and be a champion. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Thank you.